privilege of celebrating um, his making public that commitment um, and, and his joining of the church. So this morning, would you hear these words? Friends, today we celebrate new life in Christ. And one of the ways we do that is through baptism. Through baptism, we are welcomed into the body of Christ. We're incorporated into God's mighty acts of salvation and given new birth through water and the Spirit. All of this is God's gift given to us without price. Who presents this young man to be baptized? Taylor, on, the whole, on, on behalf of the whole church, I ask you, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? Do you accept the freedom and power God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, put your whole trust in His grace, and promise to serve him as your Lord in union with the church that Christ has opened to all people. According to the grace given you, will you remain a faithful member of Christ's holy church and serve as a representative of Christ's love in the world? Would you pray with me? Eternal Father, when there was nothing, you swept across the dark waters and brought forth light. In the days of Noah, you saved those on the ark through water. After the flood, you set in the clouds a rainbow. When you saw your people as slaves in Egypt, you led them to freedom through the sea. Their children you brought through the Jordan to the land which you promised. In the fullness of time, you sent Jesus, nurtured in the water of a womb. He was baptized by John and anointed by your spirit. He called his disciples to share in the baptism of his death and resurrection and to make disciples of all nations. Pour out your Holy Spirit to bless this gift of water and he who receives it, to wash away his sin and clothe him in righteousness throughout his life, that dying and being raised with Christ, he may share in Christ's final victory. Amen. Taylor Nelson, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord work within you that being born through water and the Spirit, you may become a fully mature disciple of Jesus Christ and follower, a follower in the way that leads to life eternal. We are so proud of you, Taylor, for taking this step in faith. Would y'all clap for him? This is a huge moment in Taylor's life and in the life of our congregation, because now we get to welcome Taylor as a member of our church, along with his family. Uh, so Missy and Brian, um, would you support uh, Pippin Park with your prayers, your presence, your gifts, your service, and your witness? You? Taylor? All right. Well, would you help us um, respond to Taylor? by reading the words on the screen as members, excuse me, now it's our joy to welcome our new sisters and brothers in Christ. Let's respond together. Through baptism, you are incorporated by the Holy Spirit into God's new creation and made to share in Christ's royal priesthood. We are all one in Christ Jesus. With joy and thanksgiving, we welcome you as members of the family of Christ. Taylor, Missy, Brian, you are part of this community of faith. We want you to fully embrace being members of Pippin Park and fully embrace your walk with Christ. And we want to support you that entire way. So we're going to let you get out of the water now <laughs> and dry off a little bit. And uh, the Nelsons are going to be at the back of the room after the service. I want to invite you to greet them and welcome them in the name of Christ. Let's stand up. Let's celebrate. Let's sing loud to the God who not only offers us everything but gives us new life in Christ. Let's worship together. <laughs> 